There's nothing like luxury and full-size luxury at that. Bumping around in a Japanese castle. All right, today is the 2010 Acura MDX. Now, it's had a redesign for 2010. First seen in 2001, this vehicle is the number one seller in the United States for Acura. And boy, is it an excellent SUV. It's about the ride comfort, the interior technologies, and luxury. We'll take a look at them all. So now we have the hood open of the 2010 Acura MDX. There's one person on our team who knows their Acuras. Nancy Tonkin is in. Nancy, what am I looking at? We have a 3.7 liter aluminum alloy, super overhead cam, VTEC V6 engine, producing 300 horsepower and 270 pound foot of torque. Now this is mated to what? It's mated to Acura's all new six speed automatic transmission gearbox. Now, Acura has something called super handling all-wheel drive. I need to know what super means, Nance. The super handling all-wheel drive is a very advanced system. It reacts wonderfully in wet road and dry road conditions. And it has the ability to transfer power between the rear wheels and front wheels, any wheel that detects any slippage at all. Now, this vehicle has a very, very good powertrain system and does well as Acura's largest SUV in their fleet. New exterior design for 2010, Nancy. The redesigned MDX for 2010 has a new front fascia, a lower valence. Uh, as always, we have the standard 18-inch aluminum alloy wheels. The new advanced package comes with 19-inch aluminum alloy wheels. Um, a couple other things that change, the reworked exhaust pipe. The front headlamps have been reworked a little bit, and there's more chrome trim on the back of the vehicle. I have to tell you once again on the inside of the MDX, and it's pretty much the same with any Acura, Nancy. I could talk in about two hours' worth of technology on the inside, so give me an overview. Definitely. It's so technologically advanced. For new for 2010, it's taken the same 8-inch uh, VGA screen for the navigation system, which is hard drive based. Uh, now you have real-time weather included. You have traffic rerouting as well. A couple other enhancements that have been made is it has a thicker steering wheel, so it's a little bit more comfortable on your hands. Um, and one other thing is that's really cool about this car is even in the base model, you have a backup camera in your rear view mirror with three different camera angles. I really love that. As we were parking in the parking lot today, I was using the different angles of the backup camera. And so you can get the far away angle where you see it almost like a wide angle lens. Yeah. And you get the lines to show you how to go into the parking space. And you can actually almost see straight down. So if you're backing up into a curb or to a loading bay somewhere, you don't actually back the car right in. That's really excellent. The other things in this vehicle, of course, are very comfortable, high-end leather seats, loads of room in the back. You know, it is a seven-passenger vehicle, comes with that DVD system in the back, as well as all the amenities like heated seats and, you know, dual passenger control, air conditioning, a really fine piece of Japanese engineering. Now, a luxury car on the outside and inside with a great engine and transmission, but we need to find out some whys to buy. Apart from the super all-wheel drive handling that this vehicle has, the value for money, if you put it up against the German counterparts to this vehicle, you'll find it's up to $20,000 cheaper. We'll also talk about safety. The ACE body structure will keep you safe and move the energy in an accident away from the passenger cabin into the exterior of the vehicle. Finally, technology package on the interior. You won't find so much luxury and technology for the dollar anywhere else in the world. And now let's take a look at the MSRP. The 2010 Acura MDX has a 3.7 litre VTEC V6 engine, a six speed automatic with a base price of $53,775. Our in stereo as tested model, $54,565. For miles a gallon, the EPA says you'll get 16 in the city and 21 on the highway. Still to come on the ride show, we're going to take a look at the North American car of the year, the Ford Fusion Hybrid and the SS Camaro. But when the ride show returns, we'll jump to Memory Lane Motors to take a look at cars of the 30s.